And putting that venom into my arm that first time, I was basically prepared to die. Hi, my name's Steve Ludwin, and I inject snake venom. I had that thought when I was young, when I was in my teens, and I just had this light bulb moment go off. You are going to do this, and wait until you see what happens in the future. It was instinctual, but yeah, I knew it was possible, so I decided to attempt it. It was just a curiosity, it was home science. I wanted to see if it was possible, that you could become immune to snake venom. I had heard that it's possible. I was obsessed by snakes. I didn't know what I was doing. There were no books on the subject. There was no, obviously no internet back then. It was all guesswork. I was playing a game with death. It's as simple as that. The pain that happened immediately when the venom hit my bloodstream was incredible and it was scary. It was, it was humbling. I'm surprised I went back for more. A few months later, I tried it again. A few months later, I tried it again. A few months later, I tried it again. And then I was going weekly. I proved to myself that you can build up an immunity to the snake venom because after about four to five years, I started noticing that my body was recovering quickly. The bruising, the swelling, everything was just recovering so quickly. So in my mind, I was a scientist at that moment and I did an experiment and I proved it to myself that I could build up an immunity to snake venom. So that was great. To be honest with you, it's called self-immunization, what I do, and it's quite an easy process. I basically milk the snake, which means gently taking the snake behind its head, you know, letting it deposit, bite into the glass. I get the venom, I take the venom out, then it's good to go. I, I do it every two weeks now, because I've been doing it for so many years, it's just like, you know, just preparing a meal. When the venom goes into your bloodstream, into your body, it is not a pleasant sensation at all. It feels like somebody's just taken a sledgehammer, smashed it on your hand, and then held a flame under it. The pain doesn't subside at all. You know what it is? It's evolution saying, stay the fuck away from us. We will cause you the world of pain. And I've tripped out on pain before. I've had to look up at the sun and hold my snake-bitten hand and beg the sun to take the pain away, like in ancient, like Egyptian, you know, it's that bad. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. It's not a drug. There's no sort of Jim Morrison, yeah, man, ride the snake, you know. There's none of that. Snake venom is pain-inducing and nobody should do it. The reason I'm doing it is to build up antibodies. It's as simple as that. Yeah, the first time I tried it, you know, I had no idea what was going to happen. So as far as I was concerned, putting that venom into my arm that first time, I was basically prepared to die in a strange way. But I have this instinct that it was going to be fine and that my future was going to be bright with it. So I had that confidence and perhaps a little bit of rock and roll helped me through as well. I'm just over 30 years now of uh, messing around with snake venom, but it's been just the craziest journey of, you know, when I was in a touring rock band, you know, gargling with rattlesnake venom to, to get rid of throat infections. And I've done so many experiments. I have not stopped just doing experiments, experiments and testing it on myself. I am going to be 52 years old in a few months, so I'm 51. You know, there's lots of arrows pointing that there are anti-aging properties within snake venom. I've been making my own anti-venom cream. I am very interested in, in the power of snake venom. I mean, it's like, look, you know, there's an anthropologist writing books about, you know, snakes, uh, you know, DNA and the or origin of knowledge. They're linked. You know, snakes are everywhere. Snakes have been so important. Anthropologists now know that the Egyptians were using snake venom like I am medicinally well over 2,000 years ago. So I think there's a lot of secret knowledge and history about the snake and I want to uncover it. <laughs> yeah, people have been uh, messiah. That's quite funny because, you know, my blood is projected to save people's lives in the future. Basically, I was on my own doing these experiments on my own, but since doing that Vice documentary like six years ago, Getting High Injecting Snake Venom, I had people contact me from all over the world, and the best ones that contacted me were a group of Danish scientists working at the University of Copenhagen who flew over and we talked for months and we did contracts, and so I work with them. They are basically extracting my 
my blood and my bone marrow and they are farming my antibodies to create a new anti-venom that's derived from human blood for the first time in history. I feel pretty good about what's happened with my journey with snake venom. Snakes are definitely my sort of, you know, road that I'm going down now and this project that I'm doing with the Danish in Copenhagen is great, but they don't need me anymore. I'm interested in anti-aging and I'm interested in strengthening the human immune system using snake venom. So that is my goal, to strengthen the human immune system and to slow down the aging process. Everybody wants that, you know, people have been searching for the holy grail you know, forever. Everyone wants it. And I really believe that, well, I certainly know where to look for the fountain of youth. I've got my finger pointing at it. <laughs>